Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure. Last episode we took on Rabbit Kong but things didn't turn out so well as you can see. We have now fallen down into the catacombs below or something like that. And there seems to be a lot of puzzles going on here. Just to start everything off, I don't really know where to start so I'm just sort of looking around, poking around, trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. But uh, it looks like there's treasure chests all over the place. I'm gonna guess this is probably one of those areas where you have to find four treasure chests and then I'll open up another one so Let's get started with that. Where is there maybe a block I can start pushing around? I would hope somewhere, but I don't see one. Oh, here we go. So here it is right here. So we have to figure that out a little bit. Oh yeah, there's this like sort of golden block block in the way here. So if I push this, no, I wanted to push it the other way, but I guess there's nothing over that way. Huh, weird, okay. So if I were to push this this way, as you can see, I can now walk across this, press this button, and boom, I already get a treasure chest. Look at how easy that one was. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and grab that. That is just an art piece, cool. Uh, and that's one out of the four. But what was over here? You can see if, I, if we can lower the green, I can get a barrel, and that barrel is gonna lead me somewhere I can't quite see. Okay. Then we have this right here, which I can't move just yet, but if I were to push this, I mean, I can move it this way. I like how it does stop on these little areas right here. And I don't know what we're doing with this one. We're gonna try to find out together. It isn't that way at the least, not yet. Hmm. Okay, so you can tell that these little brown spots are sort of like little stoppers. So we can like push this here and as you can see, it'll do its thing. So I probably want to, I mean, there's this red one here as well. I don't know that, how much that's gonna help, but I can push this like this and then I can lower that yellow one, and then we have to lower the green one, I suppose. You gotta go around this way. Okay, this is sort of starting to make sense. Like, this seems to be, the scale of the puzzle is what makes it difficult. So that's gonna lower the yellow one, and as you can see, we can now get up there, we can press the green button, we'll be able to get an extra block and treasure chest out of that, good combo. So, go ahead and got that. Okay, cool stuff. Go this way, get this treasure chest, and we get another uh, thing, and that's gonna be two out of four. So that's pretty good progress so far. Hmm. If we go back this way now, one thing, what's the deal with this barrel? Uh, maybe this just launches us back up for whatever reason. If we wanted to re-explore the previous world, there was maybe something we missed? Looking like it to me, this looks like the battle area. Okay. Right, yeah, this is where we would come in and battle him, so I just wanna go ahead and go back here. <laughs> Interesting to know, though. Not really too much we could do here at the moment, I don't think, I don't think. So yeah, we're gonna go back down and try to find the other two treasure chests if we can. The Yeah, the other two treasure chests. We would need to push something this way to do that. Trying to look what other boxes might be around. I guess this one is a good way to start, so let's get to that. So push this this way, push it that way, hold on. Oh, whoop, and just gonna keep sliding forever. We can almost go faster than that, which is funny. And we need to find a way to get it over there. I feel like that's pretty doable, but maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't get it that way, but if I loop it around, I can. So let's get to it. If I go this way, if I push it up and then push it to the left, we should be fine. Yep, just like that. And then and that'll sort of bridge the gap there. I can go across. Okay, so this is an interesting situation. I think I actually need to push this one down so that I can push this one over. I don't know what the use of that was too much. But hey, it worked. Okay, so I'm not gonna complain. We'll go ahead and get this treasure chest number three out of four. That one was easy as well. I don't know, this seems like it's more complicated than it ends up being. Hmm. So let's go ahead and push that push this, and then we'll bring this one along with us because I know the other one probably is on this area to our left right now if we keep going this way. I know there's a treasure chest somewhere around here, so we should try to figure this one out now. I mean, I don't know how many chests are chests, I mean like uh, crates we have to our disposal, but if I could get rid of this red one, you can see that this lowers, but we also need to lower the blue one. And that should be fine, I should be able to reutilize you because we don't need the yellow one. For this at the least, I'm pretty sure. And if not, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to get back over there, so I'm not worrying about it. Get that there, get this here, come on, come on. 
and that should be these two for our fourth and final treasure chest. That was really easy. Like it was, once again, the, the difficulty of it is that you just have to run around a lot and try to figure out what's going on with this sort of very large puzzle comparative to what we're used to dealing with. Uh, but the puzzle itself, not too bad. And that's gonna be the fourth one, which means I hope that we get more of the relics. But it's looking like I'm not exactly done because I think there's a bit of a gap between this and the uh, actual chest. So what I'm gonna do is bring these with us as much as I can. Uh, and that would be pretty easy to figure out, I would hope. Actually, it might be faster if I don't do it that way. No, I said don't do it. <laughs> Come on, okay, that's gonna stay there for now. I'm gonna focus on this one. And then we're gonna push it this way. Got it. And then push it this way and push it that way. Good. So we gotta get this one back over so we can push this one along as well. Okay, moving them both at once is probably the easiest situation we can get. So get that one, get this one. Got it, and got it, and got it. Okay, so this should be pretty good. I just need to push this there, push this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, push. Oh, I guess I can't push this one because that one's sliding. Weird. Oh no, 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 I probably shouldn't have done it that way. Because, okay, well that's fine. I can just push this one here, and then push this one, and then push it again, and then push it one more time. Got it, <laughs> lots of pushing. Don't mean to be so pushy, but it's sort of the requirement. It's sort of the, uh, what I'm supposed to do to get the job done. There we go. So this will hopefully be a relic, or maybe even a new weapon, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be relics. It is awesome. So we got ourselves more of these awesome power stone, power runes, relics. I call them never the same thing twice. <laughs> but hey, now we just actually have to figure out how to go forward. I guess just through this way. Cool, I don't, we, we very fu fu fully explored that area. But there is still that one section. It wasn't like a puzzle piece I missed, right? Cause like there was this one block here. And it was just sort of like oddly pointless. Okay, whatever. Doesn't seem like I missed out on any kind of puzzle piece or anything. But I'll have to come back eventually, I'm sure. I missed at least, you know, getting the perfect for the Donkey Kong or the Rabbit Kong battle. So who knows what the problem will be next. But hey, look at this. We got our first battle of the episode. We'll try to make our way through this world as much as we possibly can. Progress save to defeat all. What in the world are you? I don't know if I want to know. You do not look friendly. What is that thing? Egad, beware of the invulnerable idol of recoil. In its unforgiving eyes, we are but unworthy interlopers. It has a strong connection to its worshipers. They are the source of its power. If we defeat its worshipers, the idol of recoil will accept us as worthy and not bother us. They're big on rituals, these idols. Okay, so to just defeat everybody. Okay, <laughs> but this guy will be attacking us throughout the entire thing. So let's go to our battle HQ real quick. I'm sure we'll have a couple things we can worry about, like our weapon selection, is there new weapons? You bet there is, there is the S-C-A-R-A-B, the Scarab, um, stands for Sophisticated Cybernetic Aerial Robotic Armed Bonanarang, the result of decades of research by rabid scientists. It's 60 to 70 damage, which is, you know, 10 better, and it's good against Ziggy, has bounce, or we could do the Mirabelle. Caution, the mid the mid infrared radiated autonomous banana based enhanced laser light exterminator or the Mirabelle is highly experimental. So we could do this one or that one. Oh, hard to say. I think we'll be good going against Ziggy's a little bit more. So we'll try that one out. We have it equipped. Uh, moving over to Rabbit Peach, we have two new weapons as well. We have the Suffer Puffer. Uh, time to suck it up. Ob oblivious enemies are about to get an unpalatable serving of spike saturated suffering from this bloated blaster. Good against hoppers as honey damage. This is the smackin' kraken. Time to get kraken with this legendary beast of a blaster that strikes fear in the hearts of your foes and 18th century fishermen alike. This one's good against Ziggy's, has some push damage. I think we'll go with the uh, good hoppers because we did the other one that was good against Ziggy's. And then for you, buddy, we have to have something new, right? We do, but we can't quite afford it. I'm so sorry, so we'll check that stuff out later. So we should be good to go with you know everything I can afford. Going to the skill tree though, we have five points for DK. We have five points for everyone, that's exciting. Trying to think. Um, I always want more range for DK. Uh, most of other things we have pretty well improved. The attack range for the primary primate is pretty good. Increases the amount of damage dealt to cover points by both primary and secondary attacks. Don't know if I really want that. And then there's high ground bonus, which could be good. We're just getting one of those. And then hairy eye damage having an upgrade sounds nice to me. Okay, and then maybe we'll just have a little bit more 
of that. Okay, that sounds good for Rabbit Peach. I think we're gonna go ahead and do four extra dashes. Uh, she's basically maxed out with her heal. Okay. Um, so I think if there's anything we could do for her. I think it would be better just to have some, I guess some extra movement, or maybe even extra health. Ooh, hard to say. Let's do extra movement. That seems good. And then for Rabbit Cranky, we had a couple ideas, I think. Stink Eye cooldown's always nice. Um, I think we'll do Stink Eye cooldown. We could just go ahead and just make that one turn. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really, really good. Because Stink Eyes is really effective, like most of the time. So we'll just get to it. If we take a look at how it's not past our turn. We have a lot of Ziggies around. We do have some uh, bucklers, but the Ziggies sort of seem to be the largest thing. And there's a lot of them. And then there's just two bucklers, or no, there's four. But that's fine. Bucklers are a whole lot better than Smashers. Uh, so to start things off, I could really just, uh, you know, go around something like this. Hmm, hard to say. Maybe this would even be better. And then I can just toss this at some dudes. I can hit both of these guys, which would be amazing. There we go. I mean, I could have done that with Rabbit Cranky. Maybe that would have been better in hindsight. <laughs> I think that might always be. But they're gonna run towards me. No, don't set DK on fire. No, everybody's on fire. It's a chain reaction. Oh my gosh, it's still happening, too. <laughs> Stop putting people on fire. Okay, so I wanna call in call over as many people as possible in just a moment, but you know what? If they're all over here anyways, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do something very effective. It's this, and this will actually get rid of one of the rabbits already, so that's perfect. Okay, got it, got it, boom. Oh, and it's gonna set you on fire again. <laughs> he says, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, he's on fire, they're all on fire. Oh my gosh, it never ends. Okay, so I didn't wanna hit you like that. Instead, I wanted to go for these guys, because that'll do some good damage. But then we're gonna have a DK groove them on over as much as he possibly can. Uh, and maybe that would work out. Maybe I shouldn't have put the stink eye on so soon, but we already got one enemy taken out. Oh, it will only call over you? Oh boy, you know what? We'll do it. Hopefully this doesn't get uh, Rabbit Cranky's attention too much. It doesn't at all because, you know, it just the block was blocking him from both sides, which is actually perfect because he would have ended up hurting DK. So we'll do this. It gets very close to damaging Cranky, but I don't think it does. And it's critical, so we should be able to get rid of him like that. Perfect, okay, so all we have to move now is Rabbit Peach, and when it comes to her, we could just end up, ooh, actually, I don't know. I feel like it would be good to maybe go out here, that way we can distract this guy, because I don't want him, This whatever this thing is gonna do, I don't want to attack uh, Rabbit Cranky. So I'm gonna put the shield on, and then I would like to, uh, Get to these guys a little bit. Something like that sounds really good to me. So we'll try this out, it should explode immediately. It won't hit that buckler in the background, unfortunately. That's sort of the only thing that's bad about the stink guy right now is that it'll probably go against some bucklers and that won't do too much. Idle of recoil, what's gonna happen? Nothing. It didn't do anything. Okay, you froze Peach there, which sort of stinks, but we only have a couple more left to go and most of them are bunched up in a good way. From what I see. Uh, so that guy's not a big worry, he has nine health. Okay, so he's immediately, oh, ho, 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 give us our health back, that was amazing. Okay, okay, the only problem is that, well this guy's 50 health, Rabbit Peach should be able to get rid of these guys, I think, pretty good. I mean, when she's frozen, she's only right now because we already used her shield, only missing out on her heal, which obviously can be nice, but not really a must have at the moment, so we're just gonna go ahead and start slide tackling some fools and see what ends up happening. So we'll do that a little bit. I'll probably just have her set up here then, because that at least gets rid of the buckler, but there's like some recoil going on, I guess. So like apparently some of that will hurt us, maybe? Oh, we're about to find out. So yeah, you shoot me, you shoot me, that hurts, but I slide tackle. Yeah, I don't know where the recoil comes into that. Maybe we're about to find out? No, weird. Uh, so you're gonna get him, please? And it's a critical, which is sort of good, enough to take him out, so that's all I needed. Okay, so yeah, Ziggies are finally you know, getting at the spot where they're not too bad to deal with. I think we're gonna go ahead and throw Rabbit Cranky. Oh, can I, oh, I'm, I'm still walking around as Donkey Kong with this. If we do this, that'll get rid of one of them, which would be perfect. And that's the close, is that the closest? No, no, no. DK can get over here, then we're gonna put him over here. Simple as that. Because then we can do this and get rid of two of them. But if we worry a lot about the positioning, 
as you can see, I can get very close to taking him out. The only problem is that DK is gonna be in the way of Rabbit Cranky's attack, so we probably don't wanna do that. Look at all the bananas over there. Okay, that's something. But unfortunately, he's frozen. We'll just do this for now. Boom, and it's a critical. Is that everybody? No, there's a Ziggy over that way. What are, what are our chances of actually reaching him? I think pretty decent. If I were to pick up all these bananas first, because that's just a ton of them. And then if I were to, 50% chance of hitting him right here. Ooh, what if I were to jump off of DK? I guess he doesn't do the shot, because it won't explode anything, which is sort of a shame. But that's the last guy, so I might as well just wait here and try to get that uh, recoil. Or not the recoil, but just see if I can't get the 50% chance. I do, nice, okay, so we just won. That was really easy, oh gosh. Oh, I guess it's good. He never did anything. That was weird. <laughs> he just sat there the whole time. Anyways, that should be a perfect. I would really hope so. Uh, the House of Bounds, two turns, was the perfect, so we just barely made it. We got the bonus 450 for that. And then how many would we get in total? 1,100 just for uh, clearing the level on its own. That is really cool. So things are going well, and I wanna keep it that way. So let's go ahead and pick up those bananas. Uh, banana, banana, I need the bananas. There we go, pretty good. I don't need every single banana. Honestly, earning stuff up in this so far has been really easy. I don't know when it's gonna get difficult because, I mean, come on. The, the main story mode was super difficult. I can only imagine this will also get super difficult. But look at these guys fighting over the bananas. A reenactment of the Bwagatana Manu's sacrifice of his unemployed brother-in-law who was living with him at the time. Wow. He claimed that the banana gods told him to do it, but I'm not sure. so sure. Okay, weird. Okay, so this looks like an interesting little puzzle. If I wanna do this, it looks like I have to get these three set up in a certain way, which actually shouldn't be too bad at all. Oh yeah, this is super duper easy. All we gotta do is do that, do this, do that, and then we're good. All we gotta do is push, push, and push. There you go. Look at how easy that was. Nice, okay, I like it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that, and now we gotta set it up again though, the opposite direction, which I actually think might be easier. Because all we have to do then is, I mean, I guess we could start with that and then go like uh, this. I mean, maybe this wouldn't be entirely correct. Hmm. You know, no, 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 if we do it like this, there we go, we're fine, we're fine. We can just get it set up nice and good and then push, push, and push. Then we can get to that chest, whatever it might be. Probably not gonna be anything too crazy, but I'll take it nonetheless. I'm glad to have it. So which way did we come in from? Because there's more than one way to go now. The level is that way, level two. Was this towards level one? Sometimes I wish the camera would move a little. Oh, this is a puzzle piece, awesome. Okay, so here's another one, thank you. And where is this gonna launch me? Oh, another block puzzle. I was like, where are we? We're in block puzzle city. Okay, this actually looks really tough. Hmm. It's looking, like if I press that, I need also something that'll press the blue button. So that's not gonna help me too much. Uh, That doesn't help me a ton either, but if I were to, maybe if I get this block over the yellow one, I can go to that pipe over yonder? Yeah, okay, so we can do something with this. Go ahead and press that one and we can either go through that pipe, or more usefully for right now, no, no, that's that's perfectly useful, right? Maybe. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Because I can then go like this, go back to pressing the red one, go through this, and then we'll have a third block to work with. Go through this pipe, and uh, get this out of here. Now, I don't think this is on anything, it's not. So I have two blocks now, which can be great, because I need the white one and the green one pressed. So for right now, let's press the white one. We'll press the yellow one with this one so we can move, actually. Oh, that solved something, which is interesting, because it's not quite what I need just yet. Because I need that so I can get through here, so we can press the blue one so I can go back through. It gets complicated. <laughs> but do that for now. And I can go this way and get a puzzle piece. Okay, gotcha. 
So we already had it solved the other way. It's just a matter of I wasn't over there. So we need the yellow one and the blue one pressed. So the blue one is over which way? This way. When it comes to yellow one, the yellow one is this way. But that's sort of a weird problem. How do I do that? Huh. Okay. Because it's gray, yellow, green. I can go ahead and push this one over to the green. No, wait. No, that's gray, yellow, blue. So I should do this one last, right here. And then we should go this way. I should set this one up on the gray. I should set the other one up on the yellow. And then we'll go that way and then set it up on the blue and be able to go through. Got it, got it, it's all fine. I figured it out, don't worry. Boom, go on through. And hey oh, got myself something. Uh, more, more art. I'll take it. Is there anything interesting this way? Not looking like, we already got our puzzle piece. We're looking for five more, but we can do that in time. So I can do that, and we can get on out of here. We can uh, hopefully move on to level three. I think so, I think that's our next step. It's to our level two, actually. We've only done one level so far. I feel like they definitely pad out this a lot with the puzzles. Obviously, they're not mandatory, but they definitely do, I think, do a lot more puzzle padding um, compared to the main story. But that's fine. Okay, level two, here we go. Defeat, whoa, all 13 enemies. Well, this stuff is spitting fire at us. I don't like it. Oh boy, ah, fire burpers. At the end of our turn, they'll shoot flames from their mouths. Not all of them, however. If you want to care, if you watch carefully, you should be able to tell which ones are about to belch fire. Okay, so I guess the ones that are all fired up or something. Oh, you know what? I probably should have gone to Battle HQ. Uh, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do indeed. Okay, so yeah, you can see this one's not all heated up. So what we could do if we wanted to be super tactic, tactful, tactful. I don't know how to explain that apparently, is I could throw one into the range of the fire. The problem is that they probably move after this. I mean, maybe they start with the movement, but I think that they move after we move for this one. Boom. Oh, and he's out of bounds as well. Wasn't actually expecting him to bounce that way. Um, so what we could do is that these guys are in the range for this, that would be pretty nice. Uh, but definitely uh, going through some pipes seems to be the best way to sort of travel around this area right now. Cause is there a snake here that's gonna explode? No, he's not gonna do any kind of fiery stuff. So here's fine. And uh, this is good against hoppers already. So if we attack this dude, should be pretty effective if we want it to be, which I, I do, I definitely do. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, blast the dude right in front of me would be the best uh, situation I can get. Got it, and it was a critical 115. That's gonna take him out right away. That's awesome. So now I can move over to Cranky. I can make him go through this pipe. We can actually just have him pop through like that. Oh no, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's not freak out about it. Cause I could just slide attack you, but I can't go back to DK that way. Um, Let's go ahead and get him set up like this. But is that in the way of the snake? Oh, that'll be in the way of the snake. Remember, we don't wanna do that. Okay, so we'll just try here. I mean, it would hurt Rabbit Peach a little bit if we did that. Okay, this actually isn't so bad. Yeah, we'll do this. That should be good. Okay, so that should at least hit a hopper. It's not anything super crazy, but at least I'm getting some damage out. We could get rid of a lot of enemies this way. Now, I don't think all 13 of them are out right now. I don't know why that guy ran away. Was he on fire as well as being iced? I suppose so. Uh, but we can go ahead and do Stink Eye. And why I'm gonna do that, of course, is because DK's gonna call some of them over soon enough. But I think for now, it might be smart to do something like this or like that. That's gonna hurt me a little bit as a problem. So you know what, maybe we should just go for him, I don't know. You know, we couldn't, I don't wanna do Harry at the same time. Remember what happened last time we did that? <laughs> Didn't turn out so well. Let's call these guys over, let's see uh, how Rabbit Cranky does with that. He's gonna go ahead and just go for that guy. He is, and that's a golden shot, so I'll get rid of them. Then he should be able to go for these two pretty gosh darn well. Nice damage right there. The only problem is gonna make the Smasher Man to make him attack him, which isn't so great. Ouchies. I mean, my best bet then is to Finish him off, yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, nice, okay, so that hit you. So we can put a shield on you, but that was probably not worth it. We probably could have just healed our friends. And then for you, I guess I could do this and see what ends up happening. Go for it, boing, bop. Critical, and that's inked, which means 
he will not be able to reach us this time, or will he? But he can't attack. So the fire burbers are gonna flame you up, which isn't ink flammable. No, that's, that might not be. It's, I don't think it's like oil. If they would like make something very explosive happen, but not quite. So they do move before us. I mean, I guess just between, like it goes us, fire, them. Okay, that hurt a little bit. 25 is really not too much to worry about though. Okay, so he was not able to attack because he did, he was inked, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking that we will uh, slide tackle you. Are you a hopper? No, you're a summoner, which means it's in our best interest to get rid of you as quickly as possible. So if I could just show up here and then just blast you, that would be pretty nice. And you do a 70 damage tackle, this is crazy, and then we can just finish you off like this. We definitely, our characters are getting really powerful, and that's why it's silly that I forgot to power them up again. Um, for now, let's go ahead and get some bananas. Uh, I think that we'll have DK pick up Cranky like normal, because it's these fire things that are about to blast. The only problem with that is that there are enemies, but none of them are out at the moment. So you know what might be smarter than picking up Cranky? Is just uh, going through here. I'm gonna grab one of them for sure. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm gonna try to just throw them out this way. Oh, well that damaged the other dude? That'd be awesome if it knocked both of them out of the ground. Because then they'll get, both get blasted by the fire. We're about to find out. Boing, boing. Oh, it does, look at that. That is really cool. So we could do this. And that would sort of kind of work. The problem is I'm worried that it might end up getting the smasher too close to us, but that'll bounce him away. And there he goes again. Wow, that was quite awesome. So he might get mad and get closer, but he's gonna get blasted by either that fire going one way or the other way, so that's fine. Okay, so all we have is uh, Rabbit Kong over here, or I mean Rabbit Cranky. Honestly, I just wanna get him out of harm's way. Actually, he's not in harm's way. Okay, pick up a couple bananas. And then for you, you're not in harm's way, I don't think. I think we're all good. I mean, we could heal up Rabbit Cranky, he's a little low. But nothing that really needs super tons of attention. So we're leaving it. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it how it is. Because the fire will go off and it should, oh wow, that went way farther than I was expecting. Okay, I'm glad I healed him before. But that got rid of that smasher before we even had to deal with him. So that goes like across the entire map. Uh, I thought that there was like a limited range with it, but I guess not. No, DK! That's not good. We got a couple guys bouncing around. You're not gonna be able to reach him, which is nice. But, uh, so the first thing we're probably gonna do, is there any kind of pipe or something I can reach with Rabbit Cranky? There's not really a pipe over here. What I could do though, at the least, is get around this way. I can slide tackle you, and that's gonna be a good start. Because then DK might be able to get over to you. I would really hope he would. But let's check it out. Lock. Oh, wait. No, I don't think he can. I think he stops here. Oh, that's bad. Oh well. So I can't do it that way. What I can maybe do, this might give me ever so slight amount more movement. It might not at all. But uh is to go this way instead, because then I can go through these pipes. I can jump off of you, I can land about here, but if I'm gonna land here, I gotta double check everything. Like there's a fire going this way, there is a fire going this way, and there's a fire going down this way. So if I land here, I should be safe from all that, um, which would be perfect. Okay, so we'll go for that. Sounds amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds amazing. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot. And at that rate, I don't know if I want DK to, uh... Hmm. I wonder if he has his bongos again. He should by now. That's good, that's some good freeze damage. But now DK, I want you to go ahead and grab this dude. You do not have your bongos just yet. I want you to, why can't we? Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Do, I guess about here, this might hurt Cranky no matter what. It's sort of hard to really figure out. Oh boy, let's see. This might hurt everybody real bad. Do you have your, oh, you have your your thing. Hmm, that's tempting. Because I could do some nasty stuff here to these two. What I could do is I could have DK do this. It would bounce between three of them, which could be good. And I could do this as well, but that would really hurt Cranky. 
So we're just gonna do this. And that'll get rid of one of them. And this shouldn't. Oh gosh, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh gosh, DK. Okay, that didn't hurt him. Perfect, 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 but this one might. Okay, neither of those did. Weird. Um, well this guy's frozen and he's gonna hit DK because of it. He's, he's not happy. Uh, so my best bet is sort of to do the same thing replicated with, uh, oh I can't though. I can't reach out there for him, for him. I'm like, I'm almost there, my friends. The best thing I can do is run over this way and see if my heal reaches. If I even have my heal, I don't. Wow, okay. Uh, then we're gonna go for you. Try to get you away from DK. And I hope nobody's in the range of the fire over here. I don't think so. That'll at least keep them protected for a little bit. And now, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. You still have this move, don't you? Well, if we did this, it would hurt. Uh, this might be worth it. It might be. At least it'll get rid of you sh your shield. It'll get rid of the other guy. It'll slightly damage Rabbit Peach, but there's no way the other dude is gonna do like 140 damage. Oh no! I forgot about that fire. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. He's gonna move, but remember, it's just one. Oh no, there's more enemies popping up. How fantastic. Didn't even see that guy over there. So now she's actually taking a bit of a beating, which is really bad. Okay. Will you do 70 damage? I don't think you will, but I gotta be careful. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Was that it? Okay, that's it for now. But we really gotta get you something. You have your shield, but unless we win this turn, we could win this turn is the thing. So first off, Rabbit Peach, go ahead and sprint tackle him. Move back this way and sprint tackle this guy and then move about here. We're gonna win this turn right now. So we only need to get rid of two more people and these are the two people we're getting rid of. So boom, got that, move over this way and blast you, take you out. Rabbit Peach might be in danger, but she'll be the one who saves herself. This princess don't need no saving. All right, battle cleared. So that should mean that, I really hope that was a perfect. I don't know how much I could really do that better with the resources we currently have. Uh, Yeah, look at that. As perfect as it gets, four out of four, everybody alive. All right, so that's a couple thousand, almost a couple thousand, just like a little bit more than 1,000 more bananas, so I'll take it. So before we move on, I'm gonna pick up these two, and we're gonna check out our battle HQ. I do not wanna forget this this time. So, already equipped your new banana. You need a new primary? No, 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 it was Cranky that needed a new primary. Um, we have his uh, Line Dry Liquidator. Baddies blemishing the battlefield, simply soak them in buttermilk, rinse with hot water, then let loose with this cataclysmic clothesline. Interesting, so this is good against bucklers with some vamp damage, which I always love. And then we have a lawn ornament agony. Flamingos perform with 136 dance moves to attract a mate, as opposed to rabbits who only know the traditional Japanese parasol dance. They're good against smashers, but they only do ink, which I just, I like the vamp a lot for him, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep with that. Bucklers are always good to take advantage of. So let's move back to DK, because we have 2,000 plus. We definitely can afford some of these. We have the Hopper Stopper 2. Uh, rabbit scientists have been hard at work to improve on the original formula. Good thing they got that grant. So this is good against hoppers, it does bounce damage. This also does bounce damage. It is Summoner Scrambler 2. The only summoning they'll want to do after this attack is for a neurologist and a chiropractor, and that's also bounce damage, good against summoners. So we're gonna go ahead with the first one. And then if we move over, we should be able to improve your secondary. We have, oh, look at that. It's a... Uh, uh, on guard, yeah. Uh, the Yacht Rock Rover, sail away on an ocean of smooth grooves, the backing vocals to your opponent's dulcet demise. And then the Trophy Fish Terror. Relax, on guard is safe and sound, and a half ton of pickled mackerel richer, thanks to this the licensing deal that brought us this deployable. I like how all of the characters that are from Donkey Kong Country that have been put into uh, weapons are all talking about licensing deals. I think we're gonna go good against Ziggy's. It's gonna have that honey damage. Oh, but why, why do I always never take up the ones that are actually from Donkey Kong Country? Oh, they never give me the things I need. So next up is definitely improving Cranky Kong secondary, but I'll have to wait for that for later. We do have two points for each character. Um, I'm thinking Magnet Groove range would actually be really nice. So we'll take that, moving over to Rabbit Peach. Ah, I don't know. I'm thinking extra health. Extra jump range. And then finally for uh, extra jump range for you is great. Okie doke, that's, that's what we got for right now. 
Well, we're getting up there real quick, I can tell you that much. And we're supposed to be going this way. <laughs> Look at this giant statue. Oh my gosh. Rabbit Kong found a tiny garden snake while planting some hydrangeas. Uh, the orders blew it out of proportion to stroke his ego. <laughs> Is that supposed to be this like giant like diamond thing? Is supposed to be a snake, a little garden snake. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we're getting some banana bushels. That's nice. That's super satisfying. I sometimes think it's more satisfying to collect bananas in Donkey Kong than it is uh, coins in Mario. Oh, look at this. Nice little puzzle piece. That was pretty nice. Oh wait, I missed that. There we go. 16 out of 24 more to go. I really hope I haven't missed any. I've been trying to be super diligent in the game. And there's a banana bushel for us right there. Ba banana bushels give us five. Well, of course, one banana gives us one banana. Who would have thought? What about this over here? There's like a little pile of bananas with those snakes. I wish I could pick up those. That'd probably give me a good boost and everything. Hmm, what is this guy doing? Can we find out? He's the banana phone. This poor fellow is besieged by telemarketers demanding that he invest in banana futures. Rabbit Kong's banana hoarding caused a lot of vol volatility in the market. If I were a rabbit, I'd take the short position. Hmm, he always answers the phone. Like, oh, who could it be? Okay, so we have another block puzzle before we go to our next level. There really is, there's like a block puzzle between every single level. I mean, maybe it was like that in the main game? I honestly don't remember it being that way though. Okay, so for this one, we'll have to lower the blue first. And to do that is actually pretty simple, I think. All I gotta do is do that same thing again with you. And then, uh, maybe push it like this? Hard to say. No, I guess it doesn't entirely work. Oh, don't tell me this is gonna be a really tough one. When I mean, it might be. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could, I'm probably thinking about this all wrong, but you never know. <laughs> but I think, oh no, 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 I got this, I got this. I can lower the blue one for sure. Cause we could do this and then we could do that and we got it. So that's gonna lower the blue one. Then we can press this red button and that'll switch which one's red. Okay. And then with that, I should be able to maybe do something like this. I don't know if that's actually gonna help at all. Actually, it should. If I push it, ooh, hard to say. If I could find a way to push it so that it's down there, which I should, all I gotta do is, yeah, yeah, I think we got it. Maybe, maybe. Am I getting that wrong? Thought I had it right. No, 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 this is perfect, actually. I actually might not even need it. No, I need it. Okay. If I push it this way, I'll have to get this one over there somehow. And that's a little bit difficult. Oh, this is tricky. I don't know. Oh, I feel like it would have been easier if the other red one was flipped still. But maybe I'm wrong? I feel like it would be. But I don't know, I'll, I'll trust this and try to figure it out. I mean, if I get this like that, I mean, that doesn't, that's sort of back to where I was. Or actually, oh, it's hard to say. Oh, it's really hard to say. <laughs> it ain't easy, I can say that much. Um, I guess I could do this, and then I could, no, I don't think this is gonna work. Hmm. Oh, but this will. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. And push. Gotcha, give me that chest. Sometimes it looks pink, but I think it's just bronze. And we got another song, cool. I really hope we've gotten everything so far that I haven't missed anything, but I'm sure we've missed something. Or I've missed something. Maybe you guys have noticed it. <laughs> it's just me. Anyways, go through this barrel. This will probably be another puzzle. Actually, for right now, What's down here? And what's down there? Uh, Puzzle piece, that's what's down here. Awesome. Go back up this way, take this barrel, and we got some bananas and a, a block puzzle. This one looks a lot more complicated, but you can tell it's a whole lot out of the way for a good reason, <laughs> because it's difficult and you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So the treasure chest is on the yellow one. But where's the normal pushing block? 
I mean, it's up there on top of the blue one. So how do I lower the blue one? I can stand on this stuff, but it doesn't do anything. Oh no, this is a normal push block, okay. So what I could do is just push it down like that, go this way, lower the blue, and then I have to figure out a way, oh yeah, that's really simple. I go like this, I go like that. Oh, but that, okay, that should be fine. That should be fine, actually, maybe, probably. No, 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 oh, that, okay, that messed me up. I almost got it right. What I need to do is push this back like this and basically do the opposite of what I just did. So if I push this like that, and I push this like this, and then I push this like that, we're, we're just gonna do a quick switcheroo. And that should be pretty good. Awesome. So now all I gotta do is push this one back into its appropriate spot, like this. Got it and press. So now the question is, I don't know. I guess to get them over here? But what benefit does that serve? Huh. I guess to get a block on top, okay, I get it, I get it. Hmm. Now it's just trying to get them over there, which shouldn't be too bad if I don't mess it up a bunch. I guess uh, yeah, if I push this like that, go through here, push that, and then push this, and then sort of kind of do the same thing, yeah, I should be able to. Got it. Okay, so those two are gonna be making their way into the big city. Oh, so we can't go back. This is just like an unmovable block, in a way. And this should be pretty simple. If I'm visualizing this correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am, push that there, push this down, go like this, well, actually, I might need, hmm. Eh, that might be a little bad to toy around with, but I think overall we got this, because then I could do that, push this back down, matches up, go like that. Okay, yeah, this one isn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be really tough. So far it isn't, which is a good thing. I really like it when it's not so tough. So now that, now that we've done that, I should be able to, in theory, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Hmm. Uh, how am I getting that over to there? Oh, wait, wait, I mean, mm. Okay, well I could just do this, but now it's sort of a mess because, oh my gosh, it's, it's sort of weird. I think I might have figured this out because now we can just put this on the loop like this. Okay, got it push it, and then push it down this way, and we figured it out, yeah, it's just sort of like a little looping mechanism, I guess, at that point. So open this one up, it is some art, very cool, and that's another block puzzle done, I don't see anything else going on around here, nothing, no other like different locations, right? Doesn't look like it, so I'm, I'm not missing out on any puzzle pieces. I mean, we just got one, and they usually don't uh, put them so close together from what I've seen, or maybe that's why I've missed a couple, it's because I think that. Anyways, level three sounds good to me. This might be the last level we do for today, but it looks like there's another one of these uh, things. We have to defeat all, or this guy's gonna be mad at us, which is not good. I don't know what he's gonna do, but it seems like he creates fire. Oh boy, oh, there's more than one of them, great. Wait a second, now there are three idols, a fiery one too, no fair. Once again, we must take care of all the enemies on the battlefield, then the invulnerable idols will let us go. I think that, okay, maybe that's why, no, that's not it. I just, I don't know why the idols didn't attack last time. I didn't do the, the battle HQ thing. Do I need to? Did I already spend all my bananas? I don't know, maybe I should restart really quickly. Let's restart the battle. I need to make extra sure I have everything. But then this will be the last battle of the day, and then we can complete it next episode, maybe? I don't know how much more there is, you know? Anyways, just go ahead and do Battle HQ. Sort of see how things go. I know these idols, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. Battle HQ, how many bananas do I have? Because I don't remember. Uh, weapon selection, we have, okay. So we, we spent the appropriate amount. I had to make sure though. Because this seems like it's gonna be a tough one. Maybe the toughest one yet. So we wanna make sure that we're figuring things out appropriately. Like he's looking at me, I don't like that. You know what I think would be good? I think it would be good to pick up Cranky. I'm gonna move this way. I'm gonna go through this pipe. We're gonna pop out this side. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him uh, 
over this way. And what I'm gonna do that is gonna damage a bunch of them, which would be perfect. Then I can go ahead and do the uh, conga, and that'll be pretty good. And then we have a cranky and do a couple more bits of damage after that if he wants to. Uh, lots of good opportunities there. So what we're gonna do is just call everybody over as much as I possibly can, which is gonna be a ton of them, like an absolute ton. And they should keep coming until they're here. That's one of the upgrades we have that it costs like three uh, super tokens or whatever. Okay, look at them all. This is perfect. So now I could go ahead and take out almost all of them. I mean, if we did this, not really gonna be as effective. So let's just go ahead and do this. And maybe it might even be critical. Come on, critical, critical, yeah, boy! Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Yes, that got rid of every single one of them. What a golden shot. Okay, holy cow. This dude's still right here, by the way. <laughs> did he move closer? I feel like he did. Whoa, whoa, gonna make him dizzy. Maybe that's how you defeat him, is you make him dizzy. <laughs> I don't know, though. Um. So yeah, there's a lot of enemies around, but which one is the best one to go for is what I'm trying to answer right now. Hmm, I mean, DK's still over this way. Might be good to hop off of him and do something, but there's really not too many enemies over yonder, so you know, it might just be smarter just to angle up, or it might be better to move Rabbit Peach first, because I could attack him like that would hurt us, so. Well, 70 damage is a good way to start, though. So we could go ahead and do 70 damage to you, do 70 damage to you, then run all the way back over this way. <laughs> Not the most productive sets of movement, but it's movement nonetheless. Then go about here. Then we can blast that guy full full force. And that's pretty good already. I don't know how many uh, enemies we're supposed to be taking out, but hopefully we've already got rid of a good chunk of them. I think we have. I think we're making fantastic progress. We only need to take care of four of them. So maybe that might even be critical, and if it is, we get rid of you. That's amazing. So. Uh, the best possible thing I could do right now, I think, is getting Rabbit Cranky, making him jump over this way, and go for this guy right away. Uh, and see how that ends up working. So boom, 60, that's gonna freeze. Um, I could take you out. I can't really hit anybody else from here. I mean, I sort of kind of could. If I were to activate Stink Eye, I can hit him, and at the least it'll do some damage. I can't like really hit him, hit him, like it not very hard, but at least I can do this. I could probably make him pretty mad. Oh, he's honeyed though? That was sort of bad timing. So you know what we could do? I mean, I could put them asleep, but I already did the stink eye, so I can't put them asleep, never mind. Um, so, if, whoa, whoa, that's what it does. It didn't do that before. Like these ones did not move before at all. Yikes, okay. Well, that's not too big of a deal. That was really weird. Last time they did not move. Like this is straight up did not move an inch. Okay, so uh, who can I go for and how? I think it's gonna be good to go ahead and get rid of you. And then we just have one Smasher to full on focus on over that way. So should be able to get rid of you, super easy, maybe even get some health back. Not quite this time, maybe next time. Get that golden shot though is always amazing. Okay, you guys, what do you wanna do? First off, pick you up, move this way. Uh, and it's just this guy, this guy's the last dude. So we should be able to do that. Uh. Will that do any damage to him? It wasn't letting me throw it at him, so let's hope that this does some damage. Uh, No, why wouldn't it let me throw it on him? He's a smasher. Anyways, it doesn't matter too much. We should be able to like do this, and this might be enough to take him out, so we'll try it out. And yeah, that'll take him out. Okay, we already won. I wonder if this one had a pretty low turn requirement, because I mean, we got lucky at the beginning for sure, so these guys are like, ah, you won't pass the trial. I can't do anything anymore, I'm scared. And there we go, our squad formation. So, did we do well or did we not? I think we did really well, two out of two, that's like really, like I did as well as I'm expected to though. Anyways, I'm, I'm glad about it, I got the perfect, we got 450 bananas, plus the 1100 from you know just completing it, and the runes, awesome. So there we go, uh, we'll continue forward in the next episode, I think. But you know what, we might as well finish off today's episode by upgrading some stuff if we can. I think we need to get Cranky's secondary upgraded and then we have everything upgraded for now until we get more stuff. So we have the Pandemonium. The panda this was modeled after is named the Ling Ling, who served as finance minister on the island until P Bamboo Gate forced her out of office. Wow, um, and that's good against Smashers, which is really nice, does vamp damage, I like it. And then we also have the Hamburger. A harm burger, 
I was like, wait, what's what's funny about that? It's just Harmburger. Uh, loaded with four pounds of meat, bacon, mayo, special sauce, and cheese. If the explosion doesn't get them, the cholesterol will. We're gonna stick with this one. I like pandas better anyways. Those sort of like black and white animal brethren, aren't they? Perfect stuff. And if we take a look at all this, is there anything for one point? I would really want all that much. Like maybe long story range would be better, but I think extra health for him was gonna be much better. Uh, for DK, I mean, hairy eye damage is always good. I could do some extra team jump range, but you know what? You know what, let's go ahead and get her some extra style shield protection. But all that is going to be wrapping it up for today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Zebra Idol, so now you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tazic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.